Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about ingredients, formulations, health challenges, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we welcome your calls on the bright side today and every day, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about specific things you may have heard about or read about, let us help clear up the confusion, 844-236. 6010. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, we welcome your calls, 844-236-6010. And if you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to my websites, brightsideben.com or my blog, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website, and you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. And if you want to purchase any of our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel made with 25% vitamin C, 5% retinol, uh, it's a little bit of transdermal penetrating agent, and you know what? That's it. That's all we put in our products. We only stuff that your skin can use and only stuff that your skin needs. No preservatives, no fragrances, no waxes, no emulsifiers. If you've tried to use retinol in the past or retinoic acid in the past, you are going to be pleasantly surprised when you use our retinol 5% gel because it's non-irritating. And I know that's impossible, according to dermatologists. I know that's impossible, according to estheticians and skincare professionals. Give it a shot. Retinol 5% gel. Well, truthtreatments.com, and you'll see what I mean. All right. We've been talking about the skin and its relationship to stress, especially as it's connected to skin conditions like melasma, the classic manifestation of a skin res of a stress response. Melasma is a hyperpigmentation or dark spots. The adrenal glands mediate the stress response. The adrenal glands are our melasma glands. There are hyperpigmentation glands. Don't let anybody tell you it's a sun problem. Don't blame the sun for stress-induced conditions. You're not going to get any better. If we blame outside conditions for what's inside our bodies, if we blame the outside world for what are our lifestyle choices, we're not going to be able to get better. Melasma, hyperpigmentation, skin issues are much more adrenal gland issues than they are skin issues. And the adrenal glands are our stress management glands. And because all, and I repeat all, chronic degenerative diseases involve burden, involve load, involve stress, degenerative health challenges, whether we're talking arthritis, whether we're talking heart disease or autoimmune disease or cancer, all involve the adrenal glands. Long-term chronic activation of these two little tiny miraculous little glands that sit on top of the kidneys, adrenal means on top of the kidneys, as long, along with the thyroid are behind all chronic degenerative diseases. Everybody who has a chronic degenerative disease is hypothyroid, everyone, or perhaps hyperthyroid, but more often than not, hypothyroid. And the point I'm making is the thyroid's involved. And it doesn't matter what your tests say. By definition, where there's smoke, there's fire. 
by definition, where there's chronic degenerative diseases, there is a thyroid and adrenal issue. Yesterday, there was an article published in, uh, uh, actually, it was a study from the University, Co uh, University College of London. This is an, the ultimate in medical nonsense. Alzheimer's disease, according to the University College of this uh, study from the University College of London, Alzheimer's disease, which is a classic example of a degenerative disease of stress and of burden, Alzheimer's disease, according to the brilliant medical minds at the University College of London, is infectious. It's caused by infections. This is what uh, Professor John Collins, head of the neurodegenerative diseases, uh, neurodegenerative disease department at the University of College in London, says Alzheimer's disease is infectious. Yes, you catch it. I, 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 I can't believe it. I mean, I, I shouldn't be surprised when I hear these, but it just amazes me that people who are seemingly, supposedly intelligent can say these things. This is what Dr. Collins says. And he's the head of the Neurodegenerative Disease Department at the University College of London. Quote, until now it was thought that Alzheimer's occurred only as a result of inheriting genetic mutations. Or, get this now, from random sporadic events. This is what he's saying. He's saying that Alzheimer's is random. It just happens. It's angels sprinkling Alzheimer's disease dust on our heads. And nobody knows why. Or it's a mutation. And now, according to the doctor... I'm not kidding you folks. He says, now we got to consider that we catch it, that it's infectious, it's acquired. I'm not kidding you. This is what he says. This is the kind of stupidity we hear from so-called intelligent medical professionals. We catch disease or they're random mistakes or we get them from our fathers and mothers, from our genetics. You know, the problem with this kind of thinking, aside from that it is just pure stupidity, I wish I could talk to this guy in person so I don't have to say it behind his back. But it is just so egregiously retarded. The problem with this kind of nonsense is aside from the fact that it completely misunderstands, it completely dismisses the ability of the body to heal and regenerate itself. It completely marginalizes the built-in healing processes that are built into the body. What makes this so egregious and so terrible is that it makes us powerless. It takes the power away from us and our choices and our lifestyle. It takes the responsibility from us and our choices and our lifestyle for dealing with degenerative diseases and puts it in the doctor's lap. We can't do anything. We just got to go to the doctor. It's all random. It's all in our genes or we catch it from our neighbors. We catch Alzheimer's disease from our neighbors. Then the power to control our health has now been removed from us. And it leads us to believe that our lifestyle choices, how we eat, how we breathe, how we respond to stress, don't matter. And all we can do if we're sick is just go to the doctor. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not buying that. Alzheimer's disease is not something you catch. and It's not in your genes. The bright side message that we talk about every day here on this program is an empowering message. It takes the power away from the medical model and puts it where it belongs, in our laps, in our lives. The bright side message that we talk about every day, five days a week, Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, flies in the face of this kind of medical nonsense. The bright side philosophy says the body is built for healing and regeneration. If it has the raw materials to do, it, do its work in a clean place to do its work, it knows what to do. We're designed to self-heal. We couldn't have survived two million years on the planet as a human species if we didn't have the ability to regenerate and self-heal. Degeneration means something's wrong. It's not an accident. It's not random and sporadic. We don't catch degeneration. It means something is missing. Something's corrupting the system. Something's not getting in or something's getting in that shouldn't be or both. In other words, degenerative disease is all about us, for better or worse, and that's good news. Alzheimer's disease or any other degenerative disease or skin conditions, melasma, acne, hyperpigmentation, oily skin, whatever, uh, uh, rosacea, psoriasis, eczema, these are the manifestation of long-term burden, sometimes lifetime burden. If it was infectious, if Alzheimer's disease was infectious. If we caught it, if it was genetic or random. Why does it only happen in older folks? Why does it, it's so random and infectious and genetic. Why don't kids get Alzheimer's disease? Anyway, all right, we're going to talk about adrenals and hyperpigmentation and melasma when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. All right, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844 is our number. Got a couple lines open for you. We'll get to your calls here 
in just a moment, so hang tight. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised on the Bright Side or recommended on the program, you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you have a background in network marketing or you know how to promote products, we're looking for business builders as well. Love to have you on my team as a business builder. You can call the folks at the, on the phone team at 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. Of course, you can always purchase products or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off our websites, brightsideben.com or our blogs, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. Thank you to John T. Collier and Robert Lundgren who set those up. You can also search any of the programs if you miss a program at benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for that. There's also a search engine for searching archives at brightsideben.com. Okay, so we're talking skin, melasma, hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation and melasma, like all chronic skin conditions or all chronic conditions, are internally based, particularly when it comes to the adrenal glands and the stress glands. Alzheimer's disease is not a degenerative is not an infectious disease. It's a degenerative disease. Same with all chronic degenerative diseases. They're not infectious. You don't catch them. They're not genetically based. They have to do with how we live our lives. It doesn't matter what our biochemically challenged medical model says. When it comes to Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, macular degeneration, hypertension, skin diseases, arthritis, diabetes, whatever, you're looking at lifestyle issues. And because uh, these lifestyle issues oftentimes involve burden, oftentimes involve the stress response, you've got an adrenal condition. Emergency, stress, burden, usually involves the immune system as well, and that means foods. That means high blood sugar. That means low levels of oxygen. That means we can address all of these things ourselves. Food, digestion, blood sugar, respiration. As always, the best ways to take care of chronic health issues are things we can do from the comfort of our own kitchens, from the comfort of our own living rooms. Ultimately, that's why I do this program, you guys, is to let everybody know, and I've seen this over and over and over again in 32 years of being in the healthcare field, after speaking to thousands upon thousands of people, after seeing reversals hundreds, if not thousands of times, of chronic degenerative diseases of all kinds, including cancer. We're gonna have a guest on here in a couple of weeks, hopefully sooner than that who's a physician, I've known her for years. She cured herself of stage four or stage three, metastatic, meaning it's spread throughout her body, breast cancer, using nutrition, no chemotherapy. And this is what is possible. If it's possible in one physical body, it's possible in any physical body. Yesterday we left off talking about aldosterone, a hormone that you hardly ever hear about. It's an adrenal hormone, it's a stress hormone, like cortisol, it goes up when we're under stress, and it's how fluids and salts are controlled. Fluid and salts are controlled via the stress response. And fluids and salts are one of the, and aldosterone, the hormone aldosterone, are one of, if not the determining, most important determining factor, aldosterone is, when it comes to assuring the appropriate concentration of electrical minerals. Stress and the concentration of electrical minerals via this hormone aldosterone is how our body controls salt. It's how our body controls electrolytes. Electrolytes meaning salt, inside and outside the cells. That means in addition to affecting blood pressure, aldosterone is a major blood pressure hormone, the stress response, the stress hormones can have, a, have an effect on the health of all of our cells. Stress will impair the health of cells. And stress can be respiratory stress, sugar stress, food stress. That means foods, respiration, and sugar control the health of cells. And because all diseases sell disease, there you go. Foods, digestion, and respiration. The stress response is important, but it's only supposed to kick in occasionally. It's long-term, chronic, day-to-day, over-and-over stress that never ends. One of the ways that the body clears out stress hormones, one of, the body, the, one of the ways the body clears out cortisol, one of the ways the body clears out aldosterone, one of the ways the body clears out adrenaline, all of these stress hormones, is by relaxing. The parasympathetic relaxation nervous system is responsible for eliminating and clearing out these hormones. If we're always under stress, if we're under chronic long-term stress from foods, from sugar, from respiration, from psychological techniques, from CNN and Fox News and the government warning us about terrorism and about accidents that happen in, in countries thousands of miles away and about economic collapse and all the ways that we're bombarded with negative crapola through news and through the radio and through talk shows, 
all of these bombard the body over and over again. The body never has a chance to recover. It never has a chance to heal. It never has a chance to regenerate. It never has a chance to clear out these stress hormones that shut down the healing response. So as the stress response progresses, as stress hormones rise, including aldosterone, so does the concentration of salt in the blood. This is where hypertension comes from. As aldosterone, stress hormone levels rise, the concentration of salt in the blood rises. And of course, that means less salt in the cells. The salt is coming out of the cells, going into the blood, raising the blood pressure. So you got two things going on now. You got high blood pressure, long term, and you got six cells, long term. And even worse, ultimately, as the salt goes into the blood from the cells, you end up losing it in your urine. Salt comes through, goes out through the kidneys. It's pulled out in the urine with water. So now you've got hypertension, you've got sick cells, and you've got a deficiency in salt, and you've got dehydration because as the salt is coming out, it's, pouring, it's pulling out water. All of this is following stress. All of this is following emotional, mental, psychological stress, digestive stress, respiratory stress, sugar stress. Can you see how fundamentally important it is to learn to relax the body, to learn to activate the relaxation nervous system, to correct digestive issues, to stabilize the blood sugar, and to make sure you're practicing your deep breathing techniques. Because salt is so important for healthy functioning, when we have this long-term stress and we're losing salt, we're going to crave salt. This is one of the main reasons, maybe the main reason why we're addicted to salty foods. And you bet your bottom dollar food processors understand this. And they'll pour salt in their foods. Fast foods are always filled with salt. If you don't want to be addicted to salty foods, eat salt. Straight salt, Celtic salt, Celtic sea salt, Himalayan salt, get your minerals, use your, body, your uh, Mighty 90 essential nutrients in your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Addiction to salt is the body's way of making sure we replace this super vital substance. The last thing you want to do is be on a low salt diet. That is stupidity. Now you made matters even worse. Not that you could even do it because the addiction and the cravings to salt are too hard or too intense for us to go on a low, low salt diet. So how do you make sure that your aldosterone and your adrenal glands are operating correctly? How do you make sure that aldosterone is doing its business correctly and your adrenal glands are operating correctly? Well, for one thing, get some sun. There's a very important relationship between vitamin D and aldosterone. Vitamin D from the sun lowers aldosterone levels. Aldosterone is a stress hormone. That means vitamin D is anti-stress. That means the sun is anti-stress. Oh, add that list to the list of stupid things we hear from the medical model. Stay out of the sun. The sun is one of the best anti-sunshine, and laying out in the sun is one of the best anti-stress, aldosterone levels, vitamin D improving, health-inducing strategies you could ever employ in your life. And anybody tells you to avoid the sun is an ignoramus. Quote me. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're coming back with your phone calls right after this on the Bright Side. Don't go away. On the bright side, I'm pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also purchase products off brightsideben.com. And if you want to purchase any of our truth treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com. Okay, time to hit the phones. 844-236-6010, Marlene in Minnesota. What's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning. Uh, yes, thank you for taking my call. Sure. Uh, my What's daughter up? has had colitis for many years. Okay. She, she's 52. Okay. <clears throat> and she wanted to, a year ago, she decided she wanted to get off the acicle. So she, she went off it in, in May. But last May, she started having uh, uh, problems again with it. Okay. And she's just gotten, she's just continued to get weaker and, and weaker. Um, I ordered a BTT for her okay. Okay. and, um, well, the healthy body pack, except we had to switch the uh, BFAs 
to have the ones with primrose. She, she okay. had taken um, some tests to show what food she was sensitive to. Okay. And um, and it's showing that she should not have eggs. That okay. She, it's the white of eggs she was highly sensitive to and the yolks medium. Okay. Uh, she also has a candida situation. Okay, she's got a lot of stuff. She does much she's more than candida. a lot. And a lot of stuff. But here's the deal. Here's the deal, Marlene. This is, this is so tragic and good news, too. It's a combination of being horribly tragic and extremely exciting, if you can imagine. The tragedy of it all is colitis is so miserable, and I don't need to tell you this, and I don't need to tell your daughter this. It is one of the most miserable things that can happen to a human being. And there's a lot of miserable things that can happen to a human being, and colitis is near the top of the list. All right? That's the tragedy of it. Mm -hmm. The good news is it's avoidable. It's an eating issue. The colon only interacts with food. This is what the colon does. It processes food. As soon as you stop eating, your colitis goes away. Now, here's the thing. You can't stop eating forever, right? Obviously. But the point is it's a food condition. And any medical professional who takes money for doing a test should be ashamed of themselves. Marlene, does your daughter really need somebody to tell her that she has a problem with a food? You eat the food and you see how you feel. And I'm not beating you up on this, Marlene. I'm trying to encourage you and empower you here. And it just ticks me off that people take money for testing. Well, this uh, the, the, the frustrating part is the chiropractor that ordered these tests uh, told her that it, she was probably not. I ordered BioLumen for yeah. her yeah. for enzymes and probiotics. and. Yeah. And she told her that she, they probably weren't doing any good. There was no sense taking them. Well, why don't you get your started. chiropractor, get on the phone with me, and we'll have a conversation on the air with her. If she's got, if she has any integrity, tell her to come on the air, and I'll make time for her, and we'll have a conversation with her. All right? Tell her pharmacist Ben wants to talk to her on the air. Well, okay? <laughs> I, I don't think my daughter. I know, probably not. But oh. you know, and so I'm stuck talking behind people's back, which I hate doing. So let's let's just get to the good news here, all right? Sure. All right. What you want to do is you want her to be the laboratory test. She's going to be her own test. Her body's going to be her own test. So the first thing you always need when you have this is for everybody listening, and there's a lot of people who have digestive issues. It's a, probably the number one health challenge that we have on a chronic basis involves the, they involve uh, involve the digestive tract. So what you want to do is you want to stop eating for one or two days or even three. If you have a problem doing that, get on the swear of V and get that off my website, brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. It's called swear of V. It's made by Jordan Rubin, who, by the way, cured himself of colitis or Crohn's disease using all the strategies I'm telling you here. He started a company that was dedicated to helping people, you know, uh, helping people with digestive issues, and Longevity bought his company. And he has a product called the Swero V. And if you can't, ideally, if you just want to stop eating for two or three days, but you can't do it, get her, uh, have her buy t a dozen Swero V bottles. They're cheap. They're like five bucks each or something. Do half a bottle every hour for three days, every hour that she's awake for three days. All right, and that'll clear out her system. If she doesn't have, if she can get away without the swear that's even better. But if she needs something, the swear will give her uh, some energy. Wonderful product, even if you're not fasting, but especially if you're fasting. That's called hitting the reset button, clearing the decks. Then she wants to start introducing foods back into her digestive system. She wants to start eating foods, starting with her favorite foods. Okay. You follow me, ma'am? Is it making uh -huh. sense, Marley? Okay. Starting with her favorite food, spend all day eating eggs, spend all day eating bread, spend all day eating potatoes or pasta, or whatever her favorite foods are. It's probably something like that because most of us crave starches and sugars. And those are big problems for the colon. And watch what happens, and I guarantee you she's going to notice flare ups. Then you eliminate those foods, and then you do it again. You go to the next favorite food and eat that all day. Is this making sense? This is super important because this is how you get information. This is how you stay out of the doctor's office and you stay out of Quest Diagnostics office or any other testing company's office. You're doing your own testing here. You're gathering your own data here. You're accumulating your own information here without any chiropractors or doctors. So you sit from the comfort of your own living room. You spend all day eating your favorite foods. When you notice a food causes an inflammation or, or pain or some kind of digestive distress, that's a food that's a problem, and you eliminate it. And you keep going until you eliminate all the foods that are problems. It may take you a couple weeks to do. It may take you a month to do. It's well worth it. That's called the elimination diet, and that's step number one. Food diary, or fasting, food diary, and eliminating foods. That's the elimination diet, first thing to do when you have colitis. The second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you're getting all the nutrients that support digestive health, and the nightly essence is topped on the top of the list. 
And not only do you want to ignore that stupid advice not to take the nightly essence, but you want to take a lot of it. Three a day, or three in the, uh, nine a day, three, three, three times a day. Three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night. In addition to that, she wants to be doing fermented food. That means sauerkraut, tempeh, miso, fermented beets. If she's really serious about, about fixing herself, or if you're really serious about helping your daughter, get a book called The Art of Fermentation. Everybody listening, The Art of Fermentation. It's easy to read. It's got great recipes. It tells you about the history of fermentation. And it, uh, it will allow you to use to, to broaden your menu, if you will, of fermented foods. I use the fermented beet recipe. It's delicious. All right? And also apple cider vinegar along the same lines as fermented foods that can support gut health. So now you've got food diary, elimination diet, um, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, and fermented foods and apple cider vinegar. Make sure she, this, this poor girl is going to be malnourished. She's essentially starving to death because she's not she absorbing is. nutrients. I know she is. This poor girl is not getting her nutrients. And then you get into this vicious spiral where it just keeps getting worse. So immediately, and by immediately, I mean today, get her on liquid nutrition. Okay, and this is going to be before her fast, or if she wants to fast today, after her fast. Liquid nutrition, meaning chicken soup with the cartilage, and that means the bones, not, not Campbell's chicken soup, but no, homemade chicken. bone broth. Okay, bone broth, exactly. Homemade bone broth? Uh, it wasn't homemade. She homemade. Okay. Homemade bone broth. You want to know what's in there. We take it, and it's very easy to do. You take a chicken, drop it in a pot of boiling water, let it simmer for 12 or 14 or 16 hours till the meat comes off the bones. Put a little apple cider vinegar in there, throw some vegetables at the end and your favorite spices, and you keep doing it. You, you, you bring the, the, you do a reduction where you uh, di, uh, bring the water down so it's concentrated, add more water, bring it down so it's concentrated, add more water. Eventually, all that yummy cartilage stuff is going to come out in the water, and that stuff is incredibly soothing and healing for the digestive tract. Did uh, Dr. Chiropractor Genius tell you about bone soup and cartilage instead of having her test for egg yolks? Anyway, hang tight. Can your... Back on the bright side, talking to Marlene in Minnesota. Marlene, you there? Yes, I am. Okay, you got your food diary. You got your elimination diet. If you can't do the fasting, then you want to uh, add the Swero V, one bottle every uh, uh, one bottle uh, every hour, or sorry, half a bottle every hour. So you got six bottles in a 12-hour day. And then you want to uh, make sure you're using your Biolumin Nightly Essence and fermented foods. All right. So far, so good. But not not the BTT or the... Uh, hang on, hang on. I'm not done yet, ma'am. I'm just going to go a little bit fast because I've got a bunch of calls I want to get to. Okay, when she gets on her BTT, she wants to sip on it slowly. If she does too much, it's going to go right through her. She's going to end up with diarrhea and cramping and bloating, and she's going to hate it. So whenever you have a problem with the BTT, everybody out there, if you're drinking your BTT too fast, you're going to get bloated and dis uncomfortable. Uh, so sip on the BTT slowly. Make sure she's doing her ultimate EFAs, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night. Zinc picolinate is super helpful for the digestive tract. So is something called zinc carnosine, spelled C-A-R-N-O-S-I-N-E. Both are available in a health food store. Make sure, she, make sure she's using her ultimate enzymes after all her meals. And if I were her, I would be getting some bile salts as well, extra bile salts. There's some in the, in the ultimate enzymes, but I would be getting some extra to take with her meals as well. If she wants to throw in a couple other things, get her, uh, have her use uh, HCL, which stands for hydrochloric acid, HCL drops after her meals. All right, so far so good. A couple more things I'm going to tell you here. I just want to make sure you understand this, all right? Okay. Liquid nutrition is extremely important for her. Get a Vitamix, make veggie juices, because in addition to uh, the vegetables and the liquid, she needs fiber. One of the problems with having a liquid diet is you don't get enough fiber. So by using a Vitamix and throwing in celery, spinach, green leafies are especially important because they provide nitrogen, which is really important for the digestive tract. So green leafy vegetable juices, and, and also celery juice, beet juice, any kind of vegetable juices, of liquid soups, liquid vegetable juices, and then if she can handle whey protein, not everybody can, and then use, using a, a nice protein smoothie will be uh, helpful for her too. The less she eats, 
the better off she will be. Last but most certainly not least, there is an intimate connection between the stress response and the digestive system. So relaxing the body is super important. Do not marginalize this. Do not think this is just airy-fairy. It's part of the healing process to activate the parasympathetic relaxation, rest and digest nervous system, especially before and after meals. Before meals and after meals are two very important times when you want to be relaxed. So before she eats, after she eats, throughout the day, sit on the couch and relax. Activate the relaxation response through deep breathing techniques, through massage, through muscle relaxation, yoga, meditation, anything she could do to relax the body. And I didn't even tell you about the psychological and spiritual components. Those are all involved as well. But that's tons of information for you. And there's no reason why your daughter cannot begin the healing process immediately because the digestive tract, is the fa along with the skin, are the two fastest healing systems in the body. All right, Marlene? I thank you very much. God bless much. you, ma'am. Good luck with thank everything. That, that is really terrible when I hear stories like that because it's so unnecessary. All right, John, what's up? John in Michigan. How you doing, my man? Good, uh, Ben. I have a 10-month-old son that's had a skin breakout since he's been out two months old. He lives in California. I have two okay. questions. His mother breastfeeds. And, okay. Um, I've asked you about this before regarding supplementation, but could the radiation out there factor into this and could uh, uh, it, you know it might be a con it might be an additional factor but it's not a cause more than likely okay. it's not a cause okay, uh, well, breast no. skin conditions always 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 need to be regarded first and foremost as immunity as defense it's a defensive response, especially if it's itchy or red spots or patches. Yeah. Okay, so you want to think of a defensive response. It's very common in children. Why? Because children have a compromised defense system. It takes a year or so or even longer for their immune system to become fully mature maybe even two years or three years. It takes a while. So it's very common that 10-month-old 10 10 children, kids at, under the age of two will have rashes and acne and eczema and diff various manifestations uh, of an immune response on the skin. Uh, immunity also means digestion. These are the two major elements of the immune system, the skin and the digestive system. Because the kid is breastfeeding, blame mom. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, look to mom for the cause. Mom probably has a... Di Mom has a digestive condition herself, or she has a food allergy condition herself, so she's eating stuff that's getting into her breast milk, immune complexes and various um, allergens, pro-allergens that are getting into the breast milk. So mom is where we need to work. Mom should be looking at her digestion, looking for foods that cause digestive problems, and then supplementing herself so the nutrients can come out in the, in the breast milk. Zinc is especially important for development of a baby, for the brain, for the nervous system, as well as for the skin, and the digestive system and zinc deficiency is very, very common. Zinc is a building element. You can't build a body without zinc, and it's also an immune system element. You can't have a strong, healthy immune system without zinc. Mom needs to make sure she's taking 50 milligrams a day of zinc. It wouldn't hurt her to, to, to balance that out with a little copper. Mom should also be doing probiotics, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, and three at night. And by the way, I forgot to mention the Fucoid Z for Marlene earlier. Marlene, if you're listening, Fucoid Z, very important for colitis. I forgot to mention that. Um, anyway, so for mom, mom can also benefit from the Fucoid C. Mom should be on zinc. Mom should be doing the Healthy Start Pack, especially the EFAs. EFAs and skin health go hand in hand. Omega-3s in particularly when it comes to inflammation. Mom should be doing three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night, nine EFAs a day, as well as nine of the, um, of the Biolumin Nightly Essence and the Fucoid Z and um, also the Healthy Start Pack. If mom has any food allergens, those need to be avoided. If you want to throw a couple more things, mom should be doing 20,000 IU a day of vitamin A. It wouldn't hurt her to throw in 400 IU a day of vitamin E and also selenium, which is very important for the immune system. So basically you're dealing, John, with an immune system condition. It's a combination of a, a weak immune system in the baby as well as allergens that are coming into the breast milk. So work on mom's health. That's where you're going to be focusing with supplementation and elimination diet, avoiding food allergens. I know I went really fast, but if you want to oh, review well, ben, it. One, one more thing, would topical A and topical C help? Not really. Yeah. No, okay. not really. Maybe topical zinc oxide will soothe it a little bit. That's zinc what oxide, I would be doing. Okay. It's topical zinc oxide has a soothing effect, but it's not going to take care of the problem. All right, my man. Thank you, John. Right, thank you, Ben. God bless, All my right. friend. Good luck. Okay, Clinton, Kansas. What's going on? I know we left you on hold yesterday. What's, uh, remind us. So I've got some questions about uh, uh, Wernicke's encephalopathy. Yes. Uh, which is 
the thiamine uptake. Is this you? Alcoholism. No. Okay. That was my Somebody... father-in-law. He's, he's 52. Okay. Uh, this, this happened last Wednesday. He fell out with some seizures. They was airlifted to a hospital. And okay. they said it's Wernicke's encephalopathy. But okay. They're let me, t- t- let me tell the listeners what you're... Infection. Well, hang on. Okay. Let me tell the listeners about Werner, Kors- Werner, Werner Korsakoff syndrome or Werner encephalopathy. This is this is an alcoholic condition. It's a problem metabolizing sugars, alcohol. Alcoholics get it. It's manifested by delirium and hallucinations and the 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 the, uh, the, the, the stereotype of the alcoholic guy talking to pink pink elephants and leprechauns. That's all a manifestation of Wernicke's encephalopathy, and it's a sign of it. Only occurs in long term alcoholics because of how. Pro- uh, sugar is processed. So you want to look at it as a sugar metabolism issue. That means the B vitamins especially. In fact, that's what they're probably giving him is thiamine. That's basically the treatment. Yeah. For vitamin B1 is the treatment for Wernicke's. Well, guess what? You don't need to go to a doctor to get thiamine. You need to go to right. brightsidepen.com and buy your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which is loaded with thiamine. Dr. Wallach has come up with so many brilliant ideas. I mean, when I first heard him, I was just blown away by this man's genius. But one of his most brilliant observations is the relationship of thiamine, vitamin B1, to mental health. Today we know that thiamine is related to a lot more than mental health. It's related to uh, uh, the health of the heart, the cardiovascular health. It's related to digestive health. It's related to blood sugar control in addition to emotional and mental health issues. And by the way, if you've got a kid who's going off to school eating uh, uh, cornflakes and Pop-Tarts and orange juice and bagels and, and whatever else carbo- uh, uh, carbs and sugars and these, uh, that we eat for our standard American breakfast, this puts a big time load on sugar metabolism, cause, can cause thiamine deficiency, and can end up with a kid who doesn't have Werner's, Werner-Korsakoff syndrome or Werner, Wernicke's encephalopathy, but instead has uh, emotional problems, anger issues, aggressive behavior, attention deficit disorder. These are all the same thing. Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, or as you say, Wernicke's encephalopathy, is just an alcoholic's version of attention deficit disorder. These are mental health issues that follow dysfunction in sugar metabolism, which themselves follow excess ingestion of sugars and B vitamin deficiency, especially thiamine. Get your friend or your grant, whoever you said that was, I forgot who said that was, on the B vitamins, on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It wouldn't hurt him to throw in some more brain nutrients like zinc, 50 milligrams a day. And of course, essential fatty acids are super important for brain health. Iodine is also important for brain health. Vitamin E is also important for brain health. You guys, we're not sick. We're starving. Get yourself on a good nutritional supplement program. Reduce stress. Eliminate food toxicity and food allergens. Straighten out your digestive system, your blood sugar system, and relax the body. And watch degenerative disease.